Yeah, that that happened. Okay, so this stuff I've been holding on to since like the beginning of July. So let's go with the first shopping trip, shall we? Okay, so a lot of this in here was skincare. Um, so first I want to show, actually I got this at Urban Outfitters, but I just stuck it in this bag. It's a Mario Badescu skincare. This is the facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. I love this stuff so much. I also like to use this as setting spray for makeup, and I thought I'd stock up. So I have the bigger size. This is $16 Canadian, and then I have the smaller size, which is so cute. I love this size so much but I thought it would be like more practical to buy the bigger size because like if I'm gonna stock up makes more sense but um, yeah this one is $11 and this one's $16 so it just makes more sense to buy the bigger one I also got some origin skincare and this is the ginseng refreshing eye cream to brighten and depuff absolutely love this a bit expensive but you know what it's worth it and it's already in my uh, current favorites if you haven't seen that classic staple always gonna want to have this always gonna want to keep this in my skincare routine which I have gotten so many requests to do a skincare routine and I will be doing one very soon. So stay tuned for that. You can do that by subscribing. Oh, I'm in a weird mood, sorry. I'm very tired. I also picked up the Origins Original Skin Renewal Serum with Willow Herb. I thought I'd try that because I'm running out of battery. <laughs> And I thought I'd try that because I've never tried a serum before. And I don't know if it really is doing anything for my skin. I also picked up the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream because I wanted to try it. I don't like it. It's apparently intense hydration for dry parched skin. I don't think it is. I think it's very normal. Like it's not, it almost even just like burns my skin too. And that's weird because it's meant for sensitive skin. Um, I don't like it and I think it's very overpriced. I'm glad I only bought the small tube, but I mean for 2.0 ounces for $15 and for something that doesn't even do anything for my skin, not a fan. I bought it, regret it. Sorry. The $5 pawns for dry skin is so much better. Next I picked up Fenty Beauty. Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. I got it in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal because I thought it would look really good with my skin tone. Wow. I want more. Another bag of Sephora. Let's just continue. I got more Origins skincare. This is the Drink Up 10 Minute Mask to Quench Skin's Thirst. I really like this stuff a lot. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It makes your skin so smooth and hydrated. I really like this. Next, I finally, I feel like I'm the only person on the planet, I finally picked up the Sweet Peach palette. I thought that these colors would look good with my skin tone because I'm so pale, so I hope it does. I'm very excited to try this. It is beautiful. I like the chocolate bar palette, so I'm, I'm sure I'll like this palette. Next, I got the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and I really like it. I'm not I'm not a huge primer fan or originally I wasn't because I don't like the silicone feel on my skin. I really don't like the way that primer feels and I just really felt like it didn't do much to be honest. <laughs> but I really like this kind. This is the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer and it smells like coconuts because it's made with coconut water. It's very hydrating. It feels like a moisturizer and I don't know why I'm explaining this because everybody already knows because it's been out forever and I'm very late to the game. <laughs> so to go with the eyeshadow basically I got the Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base from NARS because this is really good if you have oily lids. I have very oily eyelids. Like I have very dry skin except for my eyelids. They're so oily and I feel like primer concealer doesn't do anything. So I needed to try this and I really like it. The stuff just sticks. It's amazing. Next I picked up the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Caramel. Again, not a new product. Everyone has this except for me until now. And why is it so dark? keep having to turn the brightness up because it's so dark right now. Holy shit. Anyway, yeah, no, I really liked it. At first I didn't, but that's just because it's a new product and then you're not used to it and that's totally normal, but I really like the brush on this and this color is really nice for redheads. I hope I haven't been in, on, in not in focus the whole video. I just had to turn the brightness way up because it is so dark outside right now. I had a ton of points stacked up because, I don't know, there's just like not a whole lot of like good stuff that you can get. But finally, after years of storing up points, I 
finally decided to cash them in and I got the Caudalie French favorites. So it's all skincare. So of course I spent it on skincare. French fancy skincare. Whole five steps. You get cleanse, brighten, treat, hydrate, and eye. Actually, let's open it now. Ooh, comes with like confetti. Wow, actually I'm really impressed with the size of this moisturizing sorbet. Instant foaming cleanser. This is the serum and this is the eye cream. I thought this was going to be bigger, but it's actually really small. <laughs> and then this is brightener for dark spots, which I don't really have, but I'm, sh I'm still going to use it. Super cute. Love it. Am I really bright? I feel like I'm really bright. Great. I'm washing myself out even more. I went to Lush. And I got some bath bombs, so I'll show you that right now. Again, I've been waiting to use these, but I wanted to show you. So this is Sex Bomb. Amazing. Classic. Love it. Never disappoints. I forget what this one is called, but I've had it before and it looks like a galaxy in your bathtub. It's amazing. But it looks like that. I think it's like Galactica or something. Galactic. I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. It's just a party. It's glittery and you're like bathing in a galaxy. And then I also got Mask of Magna Minty because I wanted to try it. I like the Origins mask better, but this is really nice. It's like really refreshing. I like the mint. I have some Glossier products. I'm so excited. Look at that. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna wait to do a separate video on this, I think. I think I'm gonna do like a first impressions or something because Glossier is just a whole other thing in itself. It's just magical. Okay, it just cut out and turned off because it ran out of battery, so I am gonna really quickly just say, um, um, I can't think. Oh my god, I'm gonna go really quick. So that is gonna be it for this haul. Definitely stay tuned for a skincare routine. That is gonna be uh, probably the next video, either that or Glossier First Impressions video. Um, but yeah, I hope you liked this video if you did. Don't forget to give it a like, definitely helps me out. And uh, be sure to subscribe if you like my channel and my videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!